Hello and welcome to this playthrough of Ruroni Kenshin and Jokyoto Rine. My name is Vince and I'll be your host through most of the game. After finally getting my hands on this fabled PlayStation 2 game, actually, it just showed up in my mailbox a few days ago. I couldn't resist sharing this experience. Naturally, since this is a Japanese game, you won't understand much of the menus or character dialogue. Unless you speak Japanese, of course. So, I'll be highlighting some translations of my own. These are mainly from GameFAQs, but with a few adjustments here and there. So, people who are interested in also playing this game, these videos will get you on your way. The options menu is pretty clear, except for one option I just could not translate. If you know what the fourth option means, then please share it to the rest of us in the comments. As for the difficulty settings, normal is always the default option. Below that is easy and below that is hard. I would advise first time players not to touch hard mode since normal will already give you quite a challenge. We'll be using the tutorial battle to show you the controls. X is jump. R2 can be used to center the camera for an easy view to your enemy. Square and triangle are your normal and strong attacks. Naturally you can combine jumping with attacking by either using square or triangle. For Kenshin, square plus X and square plus triangle execute special attacks. You can use these as much as you want to. Circle is used to dash or any other kinds of evasive actions. R1 blocks. As mentioned before, we can use circle to evade attacks. This will work on most opponents, but you need to get the timing down just right. You can also evade attacks by moving the left analog stick to either right or left and pressing circle. This will make your character roll to either side, mostly behind your opponent. Very useful technique to get in some hits when an opponent is blocking. And they block. A lot. Pressing and holding L1 makes Kenshin go into his Bato Jutsu stance. This puts a lock on onto your nearest target and also fills your ultimate meter. More on that later. I use L1 a lot because it targets the opponent and gives you access to more moves such as the So Ryusen. It's also a surefire way to roll behind your opponent and unleashing some quick blows. This works with almost any opponent. Keeping a distance between you and your opponent is something I heavily recommend, especially if you're facing an opponent for the first time. He has incredible passive and boring behavior here, but don't you worry, the game gets much much harder. I usually tend to lure my opponents towards me, because Kenshin's Batojutsu moves work best from close range, and since you can only move very slowly while in the Batojutsu stance, it's better to let the enemy come to you. This is a good example of a normal evade. Let's try that again. Circle, square. Successfully evading, then striking at your opponent does a lot of damage, more so than you would normally without evading first. Well, that's it for today. We've defeated tutorial mode Jine. Next time we'll be taking him on in a proper duel. Look forward to more of Ruroni Kenshin Enjo Kyoto Rine videos. I'll be posting lots of these on YouTube and on ruroken.com. So enjoy! Bye! Thank you. 